Hey, so in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to interweave some illustration with some typography and keeping it really nice and neat and really making it overlay each other and making it look cool. So what I have here is just an artboard. I've got some color palettes here. And what I wanna do is just press T for the type tool, which is also found on the left here. And I'm just going to left click on the artboard and I'm gonna get my selection tool and just um, drag this up, holding shift, I'm gonna scale it. And then I'm going to press T again and just select the middle and press Control A to select it all. And then I'm going to just go flowers. We'll go all caps. And I'll just change this uh, dark brown. See you there. I'm just going to scale it up a little bit more. And there we have it. So to open our layers panel, you go to window in the top left corner and click layers here. So you can see these this background and this type is on one layer. What we're going to do is make another layer by clicking this button down here in the bottom right. And we're going to name this flowers. We'll call this the type because it's our main typography. And I'm just going to unlock the background and put that on its own layer. We call it just BG. And what we can do when you select an object, you see this little color here, you can just drag it down and that's going to drag that background into the bottom layer. So you can see there. So we're going to lock that background layer. And we're going to leave that layer there. So what we're going to do now, you can see how our typography is live. So that means I can actually go in here and type. But what we want to do is we want to turn these into outlines. So usually what I do is just make a copy of it over here, just in case we want to edit it later. I'm going to click this and go to the top left corner and go to type. And we want to go to create outlines. So all that does is it just makes the type into shapes, as you can see here. So it's all one shape. And I'm just going to ungroup it and go to object, ungroup. So now all the letters are by itself and it's shapes. So see, we have that. And now what we're gonna do is just start to create some little flower elements. So what I wanna do is press P for the pen tool. I wanna select this green color. And I'm gonna press Shift X to shift to switch it to a stroke. And what I'm going to do is just do a quick little left clicking just like that I'll bump the stroke so I've just created a vine and I'll go ahead and just make a little flower here so I want to shift X and get rid of the stroke by just pressing the red line over here or you can press forward slash there or the question mark on the keyboard and so that can be a little middle part and then we can use this as a stroke I'll bump that up a little bit I'm going to my stroke panel I'm just gonna round that corner off make it smaller and what I'm going to do is is select this and press R for the rotate tool and I'm going to hold alt or option and see this middle section I'm just gonna left click whilst holding alt or option and we'll get the rotate tool up so once you've done that, we're going to select an angle. So we might just do 20 and press copy. And then once you've done that, all you have to do is press Command D or Control D if you're on a PC. And just keep pressing that and it's going to duplicate those lines and rotate it around like that. So we've got a flower there. And then what I can do is just, I'm going to just lock this for a bit and just group this together. So now that's grouped. So I can, you know, play around with that later. So once we have that, we want this flower, but we want it to go within the type and go under it and, and overlay it. So we don't want it to just look like this because it looks messy and it's not the effect we're going for, right? So I'm just going to bump this up a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to start to chop up this stroke. And we're going to duplicate this letter. So what we're going to do, I'm going to select this typography, press Control C and Control F. And that, what that does is copy and paste it in front. Now what we want to do is, in your layers panel, you see, once again, I select, you want to select the object, you'll get the color in your layers panel on the right. What we have to do is drag that color up, which means whatever that object we selected in that layer is going to go up into the top layer. So now you can see we have this copy here in the top layer, and our bottom layer has that our original there. So I'm just going to press Control Z. And we have this copy now. And what we can actually do is start to play around with 
with these leaves here. So I'm going to select my stroke. I'm going to hide the top layer for a minute. And what we want to do is start to cut up this. So on the left hand side, we've got the scissors tool, which is the shortcut key is C. So if you press C on your keyboard and put your mouse over the stroke, you can start to cut up the points. So it adds an anchor point in it as you're there and it will, it's going to cut this piece. And we want to put another one down here and that will cut that. So now we have one separate piece like this. So now if I drag this into the top layer and I'm going to turn that back on, you can see now it looks like it's wrapping around that middle part of the F, which is pretty handy. So we've cut that piece and we put it on the top layer. And so you can see that. So just by doing that simple trick, we can start to wrap around the vine around the letters. We'll do the same for this top, for this part as well. So once again, I'm going to press C, put my mouse over the stroke and just left click once and left click again. And then once again, select this piece here, go back to my layers panel and select the little color box and just drag it up to the top layer. And there you have it. So now you're starting to get some cool effects. And the cool part about doing it this way instead of expanding this is that we can actually edit this stroke. So we can go ahead, if I select all these strokes, I can actually edit it, make it bigger. So it keeps it live. So, you know, it's not making it non-editable. You know, I can make it round, round up the stroke if I want to round it off in the stroke panel there. I can even use the width tool. So if I press Shift W while selecting the stroke, I'll get the width tool and just left click and drag. If I want to make it thinner out and thin it out like that, which is pretty cool. And then I can just go ahead and maybe move that down there if I want. If I don't want it to do that. Like that. And once you've done that, you can do it around all the other letters and it's going to look awesome. What I'm going to do here, I'm just going to hold Alt and Option, just drag, copy this. And the cool trick is I'm going to actually expand this because I don't want to edit these anymore. I'm going to go to Object, Expand, Appearance, and press OK. And then what I'm going to do, go to my Pathfinder tool. You can go to Window, Pathfinder, as you can see there, and press the first one and it's going to unite it and make it one shape. So I don't have to edit these anymore. I can just start you know, changing the color. And I want to keep this flower behind here like that as you can see, and I'll continue to go through this and speed it up for you so you guys can see the end result. Cool, and then you have it. We've got our cool flower type with our custom illustration with our vines and flowers there. And I'll just color type to make it look cool. You can add more and more effects, but this is just a simple technique on how to intertwine some cool illustrative elements into your typography. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and there you have it.